Hey guys, welcome back. So today's video, I wanted to share with you what I did in my food pantry. Last week, I decided because I had a lot of time on my hands like many of you guys do now, I'm like, you know what, Ashley? This food pantry is looking like a hot mess. I can't find anything and there's food that's expired in there. I know it's embarrassing to say, so I'm like, we gotta you know, declutter, get rid of expired food and reorganize this so it's manageable. So I did that last week. I wanted to share with you guys what I did, how I organized it, where I got the items that you will see shortly from. And then lastly, I thought it would be fun to just share with you guys what's inside my food pantry, like what items I keep in there. And hopefully this video motivates you to maybe do some decluttering and organizing in your kitchen or your cabinets or your food pantry. Going through expired foods is a good thing to do right now. But anyways, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit the like button and the notification bell down below. And without further ado, if you guys would like to see my food pantry, then just keep watching. Okay, you guys, so this is my food pantry. Let's go in it. So right when you open the door, this is what my food pantry looks like. Now, as I was explaining earlier, this was looking a hot mess. I had raw foods in the raw bins. They were The bins were overflowing. I actually had to go and purchase a couple more bins and I'm gonna get into that in a second and I got rid of a ton of expired food I just wanted it to be manageable again so this is what it looks like okay so now that you guys have seen kind of like the big picture of what my pantry looks like I just wanted to get into detail on what I did with organizing so these containers right here as I mentioned earlier they're all from Target now last week I probably purchased I think like two of the medium size ones or no, two of the, the smaller size uh, bins and then two of these like bigger size bins right here because again I needed more space even getting rid of stuff it wasn't manageable so next I did this last year but I had to redo the lettering to add um, to these like new bins as well but last year or no two years ago when I did this project originally I was on Pinterest kind of looking and I'm like you know what it would be really cool to add lettering to these so what I did and I know they still have them there because I was there the other day is I went and got these kind of like sticker uh, letters or these letter stickers they have them at Walmart so I have like a ton left over I honestly probably didn't even know, need to go and buy more all of, like the vowel letters I tend to run out of quickly so that's why I went and got more but this is what they look like and this is the font that they have but honestly you guys at Walmart they have tons of letter stickers with different fonts so I kind of went with this one I'm not entirely sure if Target actually has these letter stickers they probably do I just didn't catch it Walmart happens to have a pretty good craft section and they have a ton of different fonts and they even have bigger size letters as well. So I figured I'd mention that. Now for, there's some like smaller, like this for example, I have my food clips in to clip like the bags. I have smaller lettering there so I just wanted to show you that and I got those uh, from Walmart as well let me just find them they're in this pile here somewhere actually this is like pretty much brand new but these are like the smaller lettering I don't know if it's exactly the same font as the other ones I showed you but I went with this just for like the smaller containers I don't have too many I have another one that has like the straws in it I did that with the lettering as well as you guys can see so just like the smaller containers I use the smaller um, letter stickers with and these containers too are from Walmart as or Walmart sorry these containers too are from Target as well last week when I was actually doing this it did take me a few hours I could have filmed it but whenever I film things like that it could turn into like maybe three or four hours of when I'm filming things so I'm like you know what it's probably just easier to kind of give you guys an overview and explain to you guys what I did so I have my cat um, her little treat bin right here I just emptied it out so I wanted to explain to you guys how to apply the letter stickers again whatever categories you want to go with is fine I kind of just brainstorm them up in my head and it's okay if things like overlap like for a while I had soup cans in the pasta thing I just didn't really care but now I actually have a designated can section bin if you will but it's totally personal preference so when you apply these stickers I kind of found it best to like just have it on the ground facing upwards towards you like this you just stick the letters down but make sure it's facing downwards like this now these stickers 
are not that sticky. It's not like you just stick them on and the letters stay. They actually really don't stay at all. So what you want to do is you want to tape down the letters. So that's why it's important to kind of have it face down like this so the letters aren't popping off because it will happen. They are not that sticky. It's important to get the right type of tape. You're going to want glossy tape, not matte tape. And I made the mistake the other day because I totally forgot from when I did this two years ago. I was using this matte tape right here, this matte scotch tape. And I think it was for one of these ones over here. I mean, it's not like it's really noticeable, but you're going to want like glossy clear tape. So when I did this two years ago, I had like the glossy, um, you know, clear tape of this, the smaller scotch tape. So I'm like, uh oh, but then I'm like, you know what? I've got packaging tape. I know it's glossy. I know it's clear. And honestly, I'm glad that I went with the packaging tape that's bigger because it's easier to put the tape over it. You only need one piece to cover whatever word that you had. Whereas opposed to using this, I had to use like two or three pieces to go over it because it's smaller tape. As you guys can see, it's clear and glossy. And basically you're just going to want to rip off a piece, put it over the letters while it's facing down and that's it. You're good to go. The letters will stay and it's really easy, but that is an important step that I didn't realize. I was like, these letters are not sticking. What am I going to do? So before I get into showing you guys close up what's in here, I just wanted to give you guys some suggestions on how you can organize these bins so down there you guys will see shortly I have utensils and napkins and those are like plastic utensils and paper napkins for like when we have guests over and then I've got an extras here I probably should have started with this last but that's just anything that is just like extra that I have like two or three of that's not going to fit in one of these. I just have backups of. So I have an extra container as well. Like I have, a, I have jelly, I have peanut butter, I have ketchup. You guys get the point. Then I have canned. I did not have the canned one before, but I felt it... Um, but I felt that it was necessary to actually just make a bin with canned for any kind of canned goods, soup, tuna fish, you name it. Because like I was saying earlier, I was putting the canned goods in like pasta or seasoning. I was just putting things wherever because it was just a hot mess in here, you guys. So I've got canned goods and then up here I've got candy. Then I've got K-Cups right here. I have my Keurig down there. Um, I have a co coffee pot that I use every day, but at nighttime, if we wanna have coffee, we've got the Keurig there. So we've got a K-Cup bin, and I actually added a second bin for tea, you guys. I think I mentioned in one of my morning routine videos, or my last one, that I've just been really into drinking green tea and replacing like my second and third cup of coffee with green tea. So uh, this is basically all green tea right there, and then these are just other teas right there. I have a miscellaneous container up there. It's just got like extra vitamins and random stuff. I have cereal up there. I have two bins for that. I've got vitamins, spices. I've got two bins for the spices. I've got two baking bins and you guys will see what's in those shortly. Along the bottom over here, the categories are treats, cat food. I like doomsday prep for my cat's cat food. I did not want her to run out of it. Uh, she needs this wet food because she's diabetic. She can't use hard food. And then I've got bars. So we've got like protein bars in here, cereal bars and whatnot. I've got oatmeal. I have two snack bins as you guys can see. I had to get another one because the snacks were just like not manageable. I was not able to contain them. And then lastly, hopefully if I move it over there, right there, I've got crackers and popcorn. I'll kind of start off with like what's inside my pantry. I'm not going to like go into too much detail, but down here, as you guys hopefully can see, I usually never have anything down here, but since I've been doomsday prepping, I'm going to call it that, but it's like no joke, you guys. I don't even want to get into how much money I've spent on groceries in the last two weeks, but you have to. I go there now. There's no bread. I'm glad I stocked up. Like certain items, I'm glad I stocked up on. So I've got like three things of water here, and I've been like kind of stocking up on wine. I've got more in the fridge. Thank God, and this is no offense to anybody that like doesn't drink, but liquor stores were deemed essential. I'm just gonna leave it at that, so I didn't really need to stockpile any more wine, but we've got wine sitting there. I've just got some soda, I've got distilled water, and then I've got paper backup of paper towels. I've got four paper towels in there. I just switched back over to my phone. So as you guys can see, again, I've got the utensils, the napkins kind of just sitting over there organized. I've got cups there. Koala's Treats, her cat food. If you're wondering what cat food this is, it's Tuna Primavera by Fancy Feast, their Medley's line. That's the only flavor she will eat. And then over here, we've got bars, protein bars. A lot of this is my husband's stuff. Um, these are like his little snack bars. He likes the kind um, healthy green dark chocolate chunk. 
that's just a backup of his favorite oatmeal which is the banana protein and then he also for breakfast likes to eat these dark chocolate um, cocoa kind bars and then his protein bars he usually has more in there and then over here the oatmeal it's just his oatmeal that I just said and then I go through phases when I'm either gonna eat oatmeal or I don't so I've got like a lot of um, organic oatmeal laying around in there then this is snack bin number one or two whichever way you're looking at it we've got a lot of like nuts and almonds like the whole natural back there these are just the um, roasted salted we've got some chocolate and regular rice cakes and then there's peanuts down there Comment down below if you have had the Blue Diamond um, barbecue habanero. I think that's the flavor. I had to stop buying that, and I have to really like re like refrain from like even looking at that aisle because I will plow through that flavor. Um, then we've got the other snack bin. This is my obsession for the last like four months. Animal crackers. I can't stop eating them. Like I'm not an ice cream person. My husband is. And this is like my ice cream, these damn animal crackers. And then I've got pretzels for my husband, unsalted over there. I like to put in his lunch. And then I like to also snack on these, and this is definitely like a healthier snack than the animal crackers. It's the Annie's Cheddar Bundies. They're organic and non-GMO. So I like to snack on those. Then we've just got some like crackers. And then also this popcorn right here, the Skinny Pop, I can plow through. I have to stop buying it, you guys. And then I've just got like regular popcorn and then like oyster crackers down there. Briefly, I just wanted to show you guys over here what it looks like. I don't really have things in like containers, but I've just got a lot of our little like shakers for like protein shakes. And um, I've got all our like protein and my husband's stuff over there. I've got some plastic bowls, plates. And then as I was showing you guys before, I've got this for the clips and then that for straws. So this is the extras. We've just got backup peanut butter. Peanut butter was a hot commodity that was going quickly and jelly. So I kind of stocked up and then I've got my like sugar-free syrup back back there then we've got all our soups and there's some tuna back there some ramen noodles moving over here we've just got all our oil and vinegar and then like cooking spray I think there's an extra chicken broth as well in there and then for seasoning we've got like panko regular breadcrumbs and then this is supposed to go in there it's like the Velveeta um, chicken bacon ranch really good by the way but I didn't have enough room so I just stuck it in the seasoning I guess it kind of could be considered seasoning and then we've just got like soy sauce um, a backup mayonnaise which I don't know if, if that's like the correct place to put it and then rice pasta you name it I stocked up on rice because rice was going quickly I do use rice for um, certain dinner um, or certain meals that I make for my husband. So I have a lot of rice in here. Then we've got these Idahoan um, potatoes. I really like these because you only have to add water to them. So they're really quick and easy to make. Then I've just got more of like those Velveeta, um, you know, skillets back there. And then over here in the flour and sugar section, I didn't have a home for like this one, but I love these Kodiak pancakes. I have the chocolate and then the buttermilk flavor, but we like the buttermilk flavor better. And then I've just got sugar, flour, salt, all that kind of stuff right sitting right in there moving up to the shelf right here I've got all my vitamins in there and I needed to have either another vitamin one or another spice one because they were starting to like combine so basically I've got room for even to add more spices in and I've got also some extract sitting in there and then I have some more spices in here and I have room as well to add to because it seems like lately I'm always buying more spices when I'm looking up new recipes so I have two of those Baking, I had to get another one because they were starting to like, it was starting to just be too much. So I just have like these backup like oatmeal chocolate chip um, cookie mixes. I think around the holidays, I was using these to make like oatmeal cookies. And then I've got another um, pancake mix of the Kodiak cakes back there. That's where like those two should be, but I didn't have enough room. And then I've got like, I want to make these funfetti. This is so bad, you guys, but I'm eating so much more. Um, like going through this I'm not necessarily like home more than I normally would be but just like eating more I want to make these like fun fetty cupcakes I've got like frosting back there and then I've got just one of my banana breads I love making banana bread you guys then I've just got like chocolate chips honey just like random stuff I've got the um, pink frosting I want to use for the fun fetty cupcakes and then I've got my teas in here. I was explaining before. I've got two tea bins, a lot of green teas in there. For K cups, a majority of these K cups are the Starbucks cinnamon dolce. And then we actually don't have as much candy as we normally do in there. And then up there is the cereal. Most of it's my husband's, you guys. I don't really eat a lot of cereal. And if I do, or my husband does, I try to go with like the Kashi 
because it's non-GMO and it's healthier. A lot of the other cereals, unfortunately, have crap in them, you guys. Um, like the Cheerios up there, I really shouldn't have bought, but one day I'm like, I don't even care, so I got Frosted Cheerios. But typically, I try to stick to like boring plain cereals. So this is just the regular Special K. I've got like the regular plain rice checks, And then I have the Protein Special K, but honestly, like Special K... Like I said, it's not like the healthiest. It's not non-GMO or anything, but the um, Kashi's are. So a lot of these cereals are my husband's. So comment down below. Do you have a food pantry? What does it look like? Is it super organized or does it need some love and attention like mine did? Do you organize it similarly where you've got like the bins with categories? And before I did this, I just like had everything on the shelves, but I just think the bins make it look so much more organized. But let me know like your style, what you do in your food Food pantry are you considering kind of doing some kind of project like this which now is the perfect time or do you guys just have cabinets that you place your food in do you have bins in your cabinets or are you thinking about doing that let me know I would be curious to find out but anyways that is it for this video hopefully you guys enjoyed it I hope you have a wonderful week and I'll see you in my next video bye